<laughs> All right. So I have Gabby here on the phone with me and we are going to be doing a walkthrough of her website. Um, she and I have been doing some mentoring together over the past several weeks and or maybe it's months now, huh, Gabby? Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. And Gabby's been working super hard on her branding and her um, appearance and how she's presenting herself to her clients. And so I'm super excited to be looking at her new website, which looks amazing. So Gabby built this site on Squarespace, right, Gabby? No, this is with Show It. Oh, this is with Show It. Okay, great. So this is on Show It, and you started with a template from Davy and Krista, right? I did, yes. Okay, so the Palm Shop is a great site to use. That's who I used for my website. That's who Gabby, Gabby used. And um, I believe I have a discount link on my resources page too. I don't know for certain about that, but if somebody was interested, they could check at catgresources.com. Um, but we are here on Gabby's website. And um, I was just telling Gabby that the first thing I noticed under the welcome section is that her photo is popping up um, right here on the left. So Gabby, you see that, right? Your photo, the headshot do, that yeah. we took? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So I would say just take that out, um, replace it with an image of a client photo instead, okay. especially since you have so many client images. But this looks really good, really, really, really solid. I love everything about it. And another thing too is um, where it says the like welcome W-E-L kind of overlaps a little bit um, with some of the images. And so I would like take note of what image you're putting right there as well, because the black and white photo looks really, really good because you can still see the welcome popping off. And even the one with the girls laughing in their PJs, you can see um, welcome very well, but like even for your headshot, it's mm -hmm. it's kind of um, interrupting a little bit with the words. I see so, that, yeah. Especially yeah. with the dark shirt, it starts to get lost a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I love I love that your images have a nice flow to them. Um, I think it's pretty that on um, one slide, this one that I'm looking at right now, where the black and white girl, like the black and white photo of the girl pops up, you have a mix of portraits and details, and then I think. Um, you could do one of all portraits and one of all details. So you could do one of a mix where it has like the earrings, the girl seated. Then you could do this one with um, the girls laughing. You could make that all portraits or maybe just all greenery. I feel like it had a similar feel except for the image on the left. Mm -hmm. And then um, for this one where your headshot is, just make it all details. Um, let's see what it says underneath. Honest, colorful, timeless, and fun. Ooh, love that, your descriptors. Maybe you Yay. could, you could um, even make that like instead of welcome, um, I don't know how this would play out in terms of the template, but, you know, honest, colorful, timeless, and fun to me is more eye-catching and powerful than welcome. Okay. So, You're not the first person to say that, so okay. I'm definitely taking notes. <laughs> Great. Okay. Wedding and portrait photography for romantic and adventurous souls. That's perfect. Like, you could even leave off welcome and say honest, colorful, timeless. Use three words. Honest, colorful, Honest, colorful, and timeless imagery, wedding and portrait photography for romantic and adventurous souls. Okay. All and right. then um, right here, I like that. Okay. First of all, love your new headshots. Yay. <laughs> I wonder who took that. <laughs> yeah. This came out so good. You look so beautiful. I'm so happy to see those. And I really, like I was saying earlier, I love the integration of your your colors, like the color that you're wearing into your brand colors. I think that's so smart. Um, on the left right here where it says, it's nice to meet you, I'm Gabby, South Louisiana-based portrait and wedding photographer. Create a little bit of space in there. I feel like it's just really compact. So if okay. there is a way to kind of give those words and those letters some breathing room, I think that would be nice. All right. And um, I think... Instead of even, it's nice to meet you. I'm Gabby, South Louisiana based uh, portrait photographer, South Louisiana based portrait and wedding photographer. I think you could erase that and put something a little bit more powerful about you. Okay. So, something maybe from your text, like, um, um, like it could even say, life in Louisiana is a reminder. Or 
Um, living in Louisiana or being with my family, something is a constant reminder of life's fleeting and precious moments. Like something like that, I feel like is more catching and unique than it's nice to meet you. I'm Gabby. Nothing wrong with it, but it's just very, mm -hmm. you know, average. But go ahead and get personal. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like we already know your name's Gabby because it says it at the top. We already know that you're a wedding and portrait photographer. If you want to integrate or incorporate the fact that you're from South Louisiana, you can incorporate that into that top descriptor as well. And right okay. here, you could just let it be um, about you. Okay. So um, let me just kind of read through this. My ideal day begins before sunrise with quiet coffee and subtle sounds of the world waking up. I believe the simplest pleasure brings the purest joy. I love digging in the garden, diving into good books, robust workouts, and sharing a meal with friends. Campfires and long walks are two of my favorite pastimes. Transitions in nature inspire me in every day in every season is my favorite. My unexpected little life in Louisiana countryside with my husband, Jason, and our three children, Donovan, Amelia, and Theodore is a deep wellspring of joy. It is a constant reminder of life's fleeting and precious moments. Photography has changed the way I look at the world for the better, and I passionately believe it can lift us up when we all need it the most. It's an honor to document so many seasons for you. Okay, so I love this because it's very much about you and who you are. But one thing that I've learned, um, I did Ashlyn Carter's copywriting course, and what she talked about a lot, and I really adopted this for my website, is who you are to the client. Mm -hmm. So this is who you are which is great, but I think what's more important is how those things can help you as a photographer for your client. Does that make sense? Yes. So for example, um, you know, you're talking about how you love to be outside, you love to work out, and you love to be with your friends. So I would say that kind of describes you as someone who's like outdoorsy, and you could say, you know, my life in the country, um, working in the garden has really, is really um, special to me. And so when I'm outdoors taking photos, I feel at home and love yeah. bringing that um, perspective into my photography. Okay. You know, um, and maybe that's not the best example, but, you know. No, but I get what you're saying. You get where sure. I'm going with it. Like just yeah. taking and, and like. You know, my unexpected life in Louisiana with my husband, Jason, and our three children has made me really remember that life is full of fleeting and precious moments. As a result, when I'm photographing for you and your family or photographing for you and your wedding day, my passion lies in capturing those fleeting and precious moments for you so that you can forever remember those unexpected little life moments for yourself. I do dig into it a little bit more on the page that is the meat and like the all about Gabby, but you're right. There should be at least a little nibble of that in this since it's the first impression to get people to want to read more. Absolutely. This is the okay. first time that they get to see who you are and read about you. And, um, you know, if, at the end of the day, like, yes, they want to know you, but they also want to know who you are to them. Right. Um, Underneath what people are saying, this is great. Um, she's simply the best. Thank you so much, Gabby. They are absolutely stunning. Okay, whoa, this is moving too fast. They go fast. fast. Yeah, they go too fast. Okay, so definitely slow this down. This has to be much slower. Like I would, I would actually not have it auto scroll. I would have them click through. Okay. Because um, you know, the last thing you want anyone to feel on your website is like frustration. And so if I feel like I'm trying to read something and it's going, I'm like, oh, why is it going? I'm trying to read it, you know? And then you're looking for the area to slow it down. And yes, and okay, you can. I totally agree. Yeah. So um, that is definitely adjustment. Browse recent work, Dreamy New Orleans wedding. Okay. Do these go to galleries or? They all, and this was something with the template that I really kind of struggled with. Um, they all go to the same place. So they're all just going to take people to the wedding work page with all the galleries there, but they don't necessarily link to the wedding that is shown. And that that's something where I'll probably tweak it a little bit more and maybe have it link directly to a gallery yes. for that specific wedding um, yes. or change it altogether. <laughs> yes. Do you have a blog? I do. And so they migrated it over for me. Um, and it's the blog is still a work in progress. I'm not completely satisfied with how the initial images appear. They're off center. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And it just, 
it just looks a little bit wonky still. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have a blog, and you can visit that. There's a little button right below these thumbnails to visit the blog. Okay. Uh, so, but then the thumbnails go to a different place. They basically go to the portfolio pages. Okay, so just a heads up. I clicked on Juliet and Kevin, and it took quite a minute to load. Leah and okay. Michael loaded much faster for whatever reason. I think that the setup is different between, like, if, for example, Chelsea and Chandler, too. Like, when you click it, it almost takes a second to load. I don't know if there's anything you can do there to maybe, like, reduce the file sizes. But okay. I like how... I also find it a little odd that like the different weddings appear differently. So like Lainey and David, Lainey and David, their wedding um, just pops up with one image. And then Chelsea and Chandler pops up with these big images. I wish you could see it on my computer right now um, because it's doing some kind of wonky things. You'll see it in the recording. But um, yeah, because it's definitely there have been some inconsistencies. Um, with this as well and trying to get everything. Yeah, these are these are acting kind of wonky. Okay. So I would definitely, um, you know, if you're having some issues with your template, I would reach out to the designer um, or to show it and see if they can help you with what's going on with those individual galleries. And going back to the homepage, you can make, okay, so you have a blog. You can make each of these, if you'd like, link mm-hmm. to your blog page. I do want something like that. Yeah, you can just change the URL. Just when you click on the the, the text and then you have the image below, Mm -hmm. click the image in the template, have it like say the click action, click to the URL in your blog, same thing with for the text. Mm -hmm. And um, that way it'll go to that specific blog page. Can you get it so that it automatically repopulates these thumbnails for your recent blog post? Or do you have to go through and do that yourself. Does that make sense? That um, that does not make sense. I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again? So it, let's say I make a new blog post. Can you make it so that just like your Instagram feed at the bottom of your website automatically adjusts when you make a new post? Oh, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, it will so be able I'm to wondering if it can be, Yeah, made to, to just auto adjust mm-hmm. when I make a new post so that I don't have to go in and manually because I'll forget. <laughs> right. No, unfortunately, it won't auto-populate, but you could also okay. just make a note every three to four months or every six months to go in and choose your best four weddings. And just link to those. Mm-hmm. But like, for example, right? So I went to Stephanie and Jeff on your blog. They're your most recent post. At mm-hmm. the very top, that URL there, gabbychopin.com slash 2019, so on and so forth, you could copy that link, copy that URL, Go back to your home page in the template, um, make that image and that text link directly here if that's what you wanted to do. And then now all of a sudden they're lost in your blog and maybe they they start going into some other posts um, from your blog site. Right. Or they can just go back. I'm still having some issues with the blog too because even on the sidebar on the right-hand side when you're looking at the post, now I'm seeing lines that aren't supposed to be there that I thought I removed. Right. Because there was a search and then categories. And I, even though, even though I did what they said to do, I was having issues getting the categories to link up properly. And mm-hmm. I was in the middle of a chat with Show It, and they kind of actually dropped off the conversation and just stopped talking. And I haven't heard from them in two or three days now. Okay. Follow up with um, them. They're usually really good with um, customer service. So, yeah, I figured it was just because it was the end of Friday. So oh, I called them sure. at the end of the work week. And then she's like, bye, time to check out. <laughs> like, bye, happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, which I get. I totally get. Take your weekend. But I've got to reach back out to them yeah. um, and get that figured out. Okay, so we're going to go over to the um, meet page. Okay. Um, I believe in honest, unscripted moments in the kinds of images that cannot be duplicated. I like that. It's kind of like a mantra. I believe the simplest moments leave room for the most joy and that your images are meant for print. They're meant to be placed in beautiful frames and heirloom albums that can be passed down. When it comes to down, when it comes down to it, I would describe my working style as decisive yet flexible, present, involved, and calming. This is really good. Time and again, my couples compliment me for my ability to blend with all the different personalities of their friends and family members while also remaining calm, remaining a calm and joyful present throughout, presence throughout an often 
overwhelming day. I love spending time with each couple prior to the wedding day, whether over coffee, video chat, or at your engagement session, your memories are precious and valuable to me. I'm going to photograph your grandparents as if they're my own. And I'm constantly seeking out those meaningful. Yeah, this is really good. I would even like take a section of this and put it on your homepage. This is that's this is what good. I was thinking when you were talking about the changes. I was like, I think I have the text for this already. It's just in a different place. Yeah. And you know what else you could do? So um, even though three paragraphs isn't very long, you could also take and like create spacing in your text and maybe you do some like in italics, some in bold, just to where it kind of like breaks it up a little bit more. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. People are scanners. So if I'm sc scrolling through this page, I see I, and then as an artist and storyteller, I delight in the unexpected. Those are the first two things in the page. And so maybe even instead of I, you have that word be you, and it could, it could lead into a sentence that starts with you maybe. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, I think so, yeah. Because instead of it saying I, you could, you could say you as like, it's about you, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, even though it's about, it's, it is about you, but it's about them, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that sounds confusing, but really and truly, people are wanting to see what you can do for them. Um, what people are saying, oh, this is great. These aren't automatically moving. So this is nice. Every single and I picture. I think it's just a moving. singular one. Yeah, it's just one. Yeah. Um, who is Scarlet? Scarlett is a girl that second shoots with me for most of my wedding. Okay. Is Scarlett a permanent part of the brand? I wish. <laughs> okay. If she is not a permanent part of the brand, I would remove her from testimonials because okay. it's a little confusing. A client may read this and say, who's Scarlett? Right. It sets an expectation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if okay. she is a part of permanently of the brand, then leave her there and then, of course, have her headshots. But if she's not, then I would go ahead and remove that. And you could even replace that line with Gabby is everything you could want in a photographer. Um, okay. So I really like the words here. And when you go through and you pick your headliner, just like everywhere else on the website, the headliner has to be the most important, most captivating words. Because people mm -hmm. who are scrollers and not readers are just going to read the first line. Right. Okay. My loves. Discover the girl behind the lens. Love these images. Home sweet home. All the coffee, meaningful details. I got to give a little shout out to Luma Coffee for sharing that image with me. Because yeah, this I, is so cute. I drink, I drink my coffee too fast to take cute pictures of it. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, that's great. I love that photo. That's so cute. All the photos are really good. Great. Okay. Recent press. Isle Society, Southern Weddings Magazine, Let Them Eat Cake. This is just an idea. It's not necessary, but you could possibly link these words to the post, to the feature, or you could grab a few photos um, from the feature, put them on your own blog if you want to keep people in your website and like mm -hmm. write about it and put the put the images. And then within that post, you can link to the feature. Um, Definitely something I have thought about adjusting in the future for yeah. it. Yeah. And then also, too, um, if you do have the client linking to another website, make sure you have it opening in a new tab and not opening oh, yeah, in girl. the same window. Yeah, I don't want them to go away. <laughs> no, you don't want them to go away. You want them on your platform. And then also there's just a little dash underneath Oh Lovely Day that I'm not sure is supposed to be there. It's really small. You don't barely notice it. But um, I would maybe adjust that. And then right here where it says PR, um, I would have maybe like a little bit more of the word, like maybe have it be like press with just like half the... Mm -hmm. The, the I even stuff. have a graphic from my branding that Juliet Meeks did for me um, that we used on my business card, and it's on the tissue paper that I use when I package stuff up. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was like, I don't know if you can use this anywhere on your site, but I'm seeing it now. I might just remove the PR and put the little leafy graphic right there kind of coming into the, the page even. Yeah. Okay, do that. I think that would be really pretty. Okay. And then um, right here underneath where it says the pulse behind the moments, um, I feel like I've seen a good bit of your portfolio, so I can kind of speak to this, but this image, um, I wonder if there's like a better image of this couple or, or a better image from the day. I feel okay. like there's, um, a lot of distractions in this image with the, the backdrop. And I wonder okay. if there's something a little more simple from their day, maybe like a photo of her bouquet or a photo of them, like a close up portrait with like a simple backdrop. Um, it definitely has some of your words, which were like fun and colorful. Her bouquet is mm -hmm. colorful, but I feel like there could be another one from that wedding that might be stronger. Okay. 
So behind the moments, the thrill of capturing irreplaceable once in a lifetime moments between souls drives me at every single shoot. Nothing compares to the feeling of knowing I've just snagged an image that is bound to make you swoon or fall out of your chair, laughing or leaving you reaching for the tissues. Being an artist and amiable, I mean, I don't even know that word. Gabby. Amiable. <laughs> My nature means your images will be creative and exploding with emotion. I'm not happy unless you're happy, which means I'll be working diligently to know you and serve your family beyond your expectations. Just having you here diving deeper into my work and world means so much. Okay, great. These work in words. This is good. Um, I wonder if you could shorten this a little bit um, mm -hmm. and make it like one paragraph, you know, okay. four sentences, because I think it's okay to have longer sections in the about you, but I feel like for the the pulse behind the moments, maybe just do like a little snippet, like four sentences. They could even be bullet points, like bullet, 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 bullet. Mm -hmm. um, ready for more, explore weddings. Ready for more, explore portraits. Okay, FYI, when I clicked on that, for some reason, a pop-up came up. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, it did, did it for it the go portraits. Did it go away really quickly? Well. It did. See... I do not know why it was doing that. Okay. Yeah, I would, again, reach out to um, either the template creator, which is Krista and them, or um, show it. I'm not sure who's the better fit for that. but Okay. Okay. Dive deep. All about wedding photography. Okay, so this is good. You kind of go into the details of the day. The process, okay. Yeah, same thing here. Just, you know, having having this uh, under the what's next stop so that it doesn't keep scrolling um, mm -hmm. while they're reading. If I click on it, it looks like it stopped. But if they never click anything, they don't. Okay, so the first thing is, what is the first one? Let's connect? For, oh, the let's connect, yes, yep. Or date saved. Do I need to have, no, it's the let's connect is the first one. Okay, so that's the one we'll start on. Let's connect. Pour some coffee or tea or grab a glass of your favorite drink and let's chat. You've come this far and you like what you see. Let's find out if we're the perfect fit for you. It's time to reach out to make sure we have your date available. Okay, so that's great. Date save. Time for the fun stuff. Once your date is Should I make it so that these don't automatically go through also? Yes. Okay. I'll just remove all of the auto because they, they irritate me also. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's if it's a photo, I don't mind because it's not anything that I have to read. And it's kind of nice, like, for someone who doesn't want to scroll to just be able to watch it unfolding before you. But mm -hmm. if it's something that you have to read, nothing is more frustrating than when you're trying to read and it, like, changes on you. Way. And you're like, crap, I didn't read it fast enough. Mm -hmm. So um, I really like this segment. Without fully reading the words, I think this is nice. Um I'm looking at the images now. I love the images. Um, this purple one, the 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 ring on the purple flowers, I feel like you might have a stronger image than okay. that one, but I love um, how the others all blend together. Um, yeah, this website cool. template had so much more content needed than my old website. It holds so many more images, and there's so many more places for text. Like, that's how it was built automatically. So it was one of those things where there's definitely some placeholder images where I'm going to continue to swap them out. And at one point, I was like, it was just about getting content in there. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is even great. even if it was not the best image, I was like, I'm going to put a detail shot here so that when I do update it with something better, at least I know it needs to be a detail, you know? Yeah. Um, on your portrait session page, I would change the order of, so like when you scroll down and you get to your questions, FAQs, um, mm -hmm. I would maybe put those in an order. So like, for example, how far in advance should we book? I feel like should come before, what do we do when it rains? Okay, absolutely. And, then, um, and I would even say, how far in advance do we book? Next question. What should we wear? Next question. What do we do if it rains? Next question, we're awkward and my kids don't sit still. Um then maybe how will I receive my photos? So the order okay. in which it happens is the order in which that they should read the photos. I mean, the um, okay. read the text. But I love this. This is so good. This is so good. So, so good. I can't believe it. Like, I cannot believe how much work you've done since we started. This is crazy. I'm so ready to get it done. <laughs> it's, well, I mean, you are done. I think the, the in terms of priority, we are going through with a fine-tooth comb and looking at some of these things. but. Mm -hmm. 
you know, in terms of priority, the first thing you need to figure out is your galleries, like how you can either get those galleries to link to blog posts or if you want them to unfold within the template, which is how they're set up right now, just to make sure that they're all opening up the exact same way and that they're all opening up quickly and properly. I think that's like your first priority. And then I think your second priority would be to adjust the about section text on your homepage. I think that's really important. And then third, third priority would be going through and like making all these little tweaks here and there about changing this photo, changing that photo, adjusting this color, that photo. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the little things I would not get too caught up on. I would make sure your galleries are good, make sure your text is updated, and then I would put it online immediately because this website looks great. Your headshots look great. Your photos look great. You've done a great job of branding it with colors and you don't want to prolong people seeing that. No, I don't. I had every intention of releasing it on Valentine's Day and then I was sick. So it took a little bit longer. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely get this one up. Um, Why don't you see if you can get it up by Friday? Today's Wednesday. So that'll give you, that'll give you 48 hours to fix those, um, fix those errors and whatnot and, Mm -hmm. and give yourself kind of like a deadline. Okay. What it is on Friday, put it up. People will see it. And you know, I think with you, even if it is the way that it is right now, there are, oh, and stop the scroll. That's really important on your testimonials too. Those are three easy things. But you know, overall, I think people can get a feel of you through this website and it's really nice. So I would not delay getting it up too, too much longer here. Um, Now, quick question for you, your contact form, where does that go to? Your email inbox? Yes. Okay. I would also, um, I know you're in Dubsado now, which we are recording this. So if anyone's listening and like looking for a CRM program, uh, Dubsado is amazing. And um, it the, is. And the, I did think about linking it directly to it, but I hadn't made that decision yet. Yes. Dubsado is amazing. And if anyone signs up under Catherine G as the affiliate code, didn't you say you got like 20% off your I did. I think the code was magic 20. Magic 20. Or maybe it was, or maybe it was just magic. I think it might be Catherine G or is it magic? I think it's just magic. Okay. Magic. Good Lord. I should know that code, but I don't. <laughs> well, when you have more than one, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> I think that one's magic. You might be right. Um, yeah. So magic will work and it'll give you 20% off. And um, this little section underneath Gabby, where it says like your name, email, request a date, request a location in Dubsado, you can create a contact form. This is like the coolest thing. You take that embed code, you put it on your show it website. And when a client comes and fills out the form, it will automatically create a job for you in Dubsado. I did see that. I just didn't like how you couldn't customize the look of the form. You cannot necessarily customize the look of the form. It's not going to be, quote, as beautiful. It's not in line with all the text and everything, all the fonts and stuff on the website. Yeah, you're right. Let me open up mine. Um, Hang on a second. I want to kind of compare... Right, because I was like, maybe that just doesn't matter, because that's why I didn't change it yet. And also, since I'm still relatively new to Dubsado, I didn't know if having all of my leads go in there was going to confuse me and clutter up things between my leads and my projects that were actually going, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that does make sense. To be honest with you, it doesn't look as pretty as yours. Mine does not. I'm looking at mine right now, but I will tell you, it it really doesn't matter in in the scheme of how much having the contact form integrated will offset the beauty of the contact form. I think at this point, when people are contacting you, they're simply knowing that they're putting in information and they've right. already seen the pretty things. But for right. you, for a back end, you know, from a back end point of view, um, having that automatically go into your Dubsado is huge. Um, it will save you so much time. And if you set up the workflows in Dubsado, you can actually automate your initial response email. So if you're available for the date, like you could have it set to where you go. So the way that it works for me, I go into my Dubsado when I get a new lead and I check the date and make sure that it's available. That's the only thing I really have to do. Once I'm available, if I, if I'm not available, then I do the check mark and it automatically sends out the workflow for not being available, which is basically an email with some referrals and whatnot. If I am available, then I can remove those action steps in the workflow and then I can send them through the workflow of responding when I am available. So even if you just have a workflow set up like for Brad's business, it just gives them an initial response with like a questionnaire about their um, build 
like, because, mm-hmm. you know, he's an architectural designer. And then once they respond with the questionnaire, he can give them a custom quote. Right. So it kind of just depends on how you set up your initial response sequence. But having that contact form embedded will save you so much time, because even if you just are saving the time from taking their information and putting it into creating a job, every single time you get a new lead, that can become a lot of work. It sure does. Yeah, it absolutely does. So I would definitely consider replacing it. It's and you can customize the form in Dubsado to include whatever information you'd like. And what's also really cool is like even the how did you hear about us section of your contact form. On my contact form, I have this same thing like where it says, how did you hear about me? And depending on what they pick, so like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, friend, past client, wedding vendor, other, it will start creating a graph in Dubsado that I can see for all book jobs where they came from. Oh, it does your lead, like where your leads are coming from. Yes, it's so cool. See, I manually mark mine right now. That sounds like I want to integrate just for that. Just for that. And also what's really cool is like whenever they contact me for a different photo shoot type, so like wedding, family, newborn, engagement, bridal, mentoring, say they want to contact me for mentoring, it will put them into a mentoring workflow automatically. It will tag that job. It will send them the automatic response inquiry with the questionnaire. Then I'll be able to send them pricing. So it really helps you with organization that mm-hmm. even though your template's really beautiful, it will not be worth the time that you will save if you put in your Dubs Auto form. Right. Yeah, that definitely sounds worth it just yeah. for that. Yeah. And I love, I have to say it again, I love how you have your email list sign up integrated with like a freebie. That's so cool for your um, potential clients. That's a great way to grab these people and, and follow up with them. So I really like that. But um, overall, great work. Like I know we kind of dive in, dove into like a lot of different little things here and there, but overall big picture, the website's awesome. I think clients are really going to be able to get a feel for who you are and what you do in your work. It looks very professional. And um, I think if you fix these few things, you can absolutely have it up in 48 hours. There's for sure. Oh yeah. I should be able to fix most of them today. I think so too. I really do. Mm-hmm. And, and, and then you're going to be able to, launch it, celebrate it. And even though it's not on Valentine's Day, you're still really close. And people are probably just at the point where if they did get engaged on Valentine's, that they're just booking their venues and starting to look at photography. So it's like, yes, that was the goal. I was like, I just want all those folks that just got engaged on Happy Heart Day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting, Gabby. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm, I'm super excited to just have the fresh look and I'm ready to move on to the important things taking pictures. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly.